Hello everybody, happy new years. Um, yeah, this is the first video of the year and hopefully this year it's a lot better than, <laughs> you know, the last one. And, um, and also hopefully this, this channel keeps growing. So yeah, this is the first video of the year. First video, I mean, first journal of the year. So join me for this video. So like always, we're gonna start out with uh, my washi tape and for this video, I am showing a lot more uh, to the camera up close. So we start out with the black, white, and a little bit of gray um, washi tape. Because minus the white, that was kind of like the color palette of of this journal. Um, so yeah, we start out with that. And then one of the other colors was blue, so I chose this kind of galaxy-ish blue um, washi tape and I'm adding it there to the side of the journal which are the two places that we're gonna end up with a little bit of uh, white space so to cover that up to have um, all the journal have uh, some color and something so I decided to put that there There I show one of the papers that I'm going to use for the top of the of the journal up over there and uh, I start placing everything so I know more or less where I want it because I'm, I'm really weird like that like I need my journal like oh what goes on top what goes in the middle like when I'm putting stuff on top of each other uh, but yeah <clears throat> and tell me guys uh, when you watch these videos do you also journal do you draw or anything like that because usually I like watching these type of videos uh, when I'm art journaling myself or when I'm drawing because I think it's a good background I think I don't know it gives you I think it gives, you, it gives me creativity like it makes me want to create when I watch these type of videos, so yeah, uh, comment down below what are you doing right now. That's a piece of paper that I've been using for past journals, and that's the shape that it ended up at the end. And <clears throat> I decided to use it on this particular journal because I thought it would look cool, like those those pieces. Because I don't know if I could... Like, I just want to be able to use the whole paper when I do these journals, and I thought it was a good... A good, I mean, stuff is gonna get covered up, but I thought it was like a like a good little shape that I could use for this one. And then those two pieces of paper that I got uh, from this one, from this other paper. And I put them there in the corners. And originally I wanted like four of them, one in each corner, but I thought it was going to be too much. And I think I make the right choice here. I think it was just two was enough. Even three, I was thinking of putting one on the top right, but... I mean, I liked how it looked with just the two, um, the two that I placed in the 
like in the corners. There, um, I messed up a little bit and I was supposed to put those in the bottom and then the, the black paper, but I totally forgot. So then now I'm like, oh no, what the fuck? <laughs> so see, I, there used to be a struggle. I'm like, oh, what if I tear it up a little bit? But I just, I was like, nah, never mind. I'm just going to put it in the top and I mean, it's not going to make like a huge difference. Not like it's going to ruin the... The journal if i do it that way so i just place that there and also that i was gonna put at the bottom of the black paper but i also forgot so i decided to put it on top of it and i mean it doesn't look bad it's just like at first that's what i was thinking but um those things that are gonna get covered up anyway so um yeah, it wasn't like that bad of a choice, I guess. I got that um, out of a magazine that I really liked, but I couldn't find again. Um, like, I couldn't find more issues of that magazine. I guess I can try on Amazon or something like that. But I love what... Like that image and I thought that I would like it will fit the journal that I was doing. And uh you probably see why in a couple of of minutes. Um but yeah. haven't used that paper so I thought I was gonna give it like a nice little touch for this journal it's gray it's cute and I mean maybe it doesn't fit it that much but I just decided to put it there and there I'm placing the lyrics that um that I use for this journal And another view! <laughs> so I thought it would be nice if you also saw when I would write the lyrics or the poem or whatever I'm working on. So I decided to write this down It's for you guys to see. And I guess next time I'm gonna try to be, do it a little bit more, more zoomed in because you, you can't really see it but i thought it was like like a nice idea like another view not just the same angle the whole video so this is the first part of the lyrics difficulty level easy but um tell me if you know what song that is it's pretty simple <laughs> i don't think anybody would know but yeah comment down below if you know what song it's being used for this journal These are the other part of the lyrics, and um, since it was going to be the same sentence just repeated four times, I decided to do it like on a different paper, like a little, like separate it, and um, with like another color and things like that, so it pops a little bit more.
and this is the the drawing of the journal and uh, you can see in the back when I uh, I was gonna try it for the first time I didn't like how it was turning out so then I flipped the page and decided to do it like that how you guys see it but uh, originally this um, journal wasn't gonna have art because I chose two big like uh, like the picture that you see from the bank scene cut out I was gonna do another one so I was like oh well I don't need art to like that'll be that'll make it too busy but I decided not to not to place the other um image because I didn't really like how it looked when I was like trying to put everything together so I was like no let me just try to do some art then like something small that doesn't take away that much from the from the journal so I decided on this and I really like how it turned out um, usually I struggle with hands like every other artist but um, I like how that one turned out And these are some st sticker sheets, and I point to the to the sticker that I'm gonna use. And all those stickers that I'm gonna show are from. Well, no, no, I'm lying. That one, just that one, is gonna. It's from uh, my subscription box, Minty Season. And uh, the other two is from Sticky.com. And they release like this advent calendar type thing, but but, but with um, sticker sheets. And I love that advent calendar. I think it's amazing. Um, and so those are the, the two, the other two that I place uh, from that specific advent calendar. There I'm struggling to <laughs> find a spot for it, but I decided to put it up there. There's another sticker. That one I do think it's from my subscription box. And I'm also struggling to place it and I decided right there and I think it looks nice. And here's the paint that I'm gonna use. And boy, did I struggle to get that paint out. Um, I think it's like drying up or something, but and I mean, I, I didn't need that much, but I did struggle to get the, the paint out. And there I go, um, placing the paint. And I used a lot more paint on this journal because I thought it would give it, I think it would fit what I was trying to do. So I do. I did a lot of lines and then at the end I did a lot of splatters and I really like how it ended up looking at, at the end of the journal.
and here is how the journal turned out um, I'll also include the final image of what it looks like and yeah so next video is gonna be a, a haul a mini haul video of some sketchbooks that i bought so stay tuned subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye bye